Hello, my lovelies. Hello, my friend. I'm gonna drink my tea and we're gonna talk about books today. Sorry, that's been stuck in my head for like the past hour and I have no idea why. Hello, my lovelies, and welcome back to my channel. My name is May, and I'm the only person who does their hair this cute and puts a hat on. <laughs> So today we are going to be doing another five minute review. I apologise for my voice, I do have a little bit of a cold, so I cannot really speak. As opposed to normal, when you are the epitome of eloquence. So today we are going to be reviewing none other than A Court of Thorn and Roses. I didn't even get the title right. A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J Mass. My voice sounds horrific, I'm so sorry. No, I know I'm about four years too late for this party, but that's just the way I go, right? And this is a really interesting book for me to be reviewing because I was so skeptical and so cynical about it for a really, really long time. Now I've spoken quite a bit about this book in quite a few videos and about how much I dislike it. And honestly, I cannot give you a decent answer as to why I decided I didn't like it. Probably because there is just so much hype surrounding this one series. And I was like, really? Like we're talking Twilight level hype and I also don't like Twilight. So I was like, why the hell am I gonna wanna read this? Plus it was about the Fae. And you guys know that I love the Fae. So I never really wanted to read it, never got into it, never even tried if I'm honest. Prepare as she is made to eat her words. The other day, for some unknown reason, I decided that I was going to read it. Because I cannot keep trashing a book that I have never actually read. And hands on my heart, hands down, I apologise. Because I had no idea how amazing it was. There. I said it. A Court of Thorns and Roses. Is that the name? I still don't know. It's still way too long of a title. It is pretty fantastic. This stupid girl may have one redeeming quality. I'm actually super ashamed of myself. Not because I was rude about it initially, but because I liked it. Oh no, she ruined it. Now with this review, I'm not going to go too much into like the plot and stuff because it's quite an old book and the majority of people who watch these videos or who read YA fiction books already know the plot. People who haven't read this book know the plot. I'll give it a real quick just through now by using my trusty friend the blurb oh please god no i'm not gonna read again don't worry it's about a girl called Feyre. she is a huntress <laughs> she lives in a world where the fey and the humans are separated by a big wall enchantment of ravens take note that's how fairies and humans are supposed to coincide just in case you was wondering. And they basically hate each other for reasons I will not divulge, but they don't like each other very much. Feyre is a huntress. She hunts animals to feed her poor family. Very sweet of her, very nice. Her family, they're all kind of douchebags, to be honest with you. <laughs> Why can't I think? This may, in fact, be more painful than when she tries to read. One night, she's out in the woods, you know, <laughs> you know, shooting animals, but she's not having much luck. A little deer runs past, a little, little happy deer. And she's gonna shoot the deer because she's like, man, I'm, I'm really hungry, I've really gotta eat some deer. Uh, as she's about to, you know, loose her arrow, a big old wolf comes out. Arr, a big old scary wolf. Please tell me when it's over. She ends up shooting the wolf instead. You know, goes back to her family house, sells all the pelts, you know, they've got this deer as well, which is great, and they're all happy and they're eating and they've got a bit of money. Then this big old scary beast knocks down her door going, who killed the wolf? I will do absolutely anything to make her stop. Here's a fairy. But the wolf was also a fairy. And in the end, he figures out that Feyre killed the fairy wolf. And because of this treaty that exists between the humans and the fairies, for the wolf's life, he must take another. But a loophole exists. And because of this loophole, instead of killing her, the fairy takes her away to Farewell to be a prisoner in his castle. Ah! That was the most painful 30 seconds of my existence. It is pretty much an identical retelling of Beauty and the Beast. I don't know if anybody else has picked that up. A big old beastie creature come and steals a girl, locks her up in his castle, and they slowly fall in love. I feel like I've heard this story before. Regardless of the fact, it was still very, very good. I cannot remember the last time that I finished a book in about 12 hours. Last night, I read from about two o'clock in the afternoon to about half past one. I finished the entire thing. It was so goddamn exciting that I actually couldn't put it down. And I can't remember the last time I read a book like that. The end. Mm -mm. Let me start by saying this. She is a very, 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 
very talented writer. And even though she does write in first person, which I've said many times before I'm not particularly fond of, I didn't even notice that much that I was reading it in first person. And that's saying something because usually it irks me more than anything. But her descriptions of everything were absolutely stunning. And the book just flowed so nicely together and it was so, so, so easy to read. But obviously the best thing about this is her characters. Because her characters are incredible. Like, I think I've spoken about this before, about the whole badass female lead. And I think it's great, but lots of authors don't write them correctly. They either make them too irritating, or too mean, or too cold, and it just doesn't make any sense because people aren't like that. Feyre was frigging awesome. And not just because she was a huntress. I mean, yeah, she could hunt things. She had a snazzy bow and arrow, which is always a win for me. Team Legolas, team Legolas. She was also a complex character. She had some depth to her. She wasn't just, oh, I'm really badass, and that's all there is to me. She was really interesting. The guys equally as great. I couldn't say that I fell in love with any of the guys in it. It's no Kel from A Darker Shade of Magic. I did love Rysand, but then I'm always a big sucker for a bad guy. But I did reach the end of it and see how you were supposed to pronounce their names, and I pronounced his name wrong the whole way through. Of course you did, because you cannot read. Apparently it's Rysand, Reese, Rysand, but I didn't like that, so I'm, I, I'm going to call him Rysand because I think it sounds better. And I did really like Tamlin, he was a very good love interest, but he wasn't just a love interest, you know, he had some depth to him. Lucian, if I was to pick any of them, I'd pick Lucian, I thought he was awesome, like, he was really, really cool. Or maybe I did have a crush on one of them, maybe Lucian. I'm a sucker for a big scar and a faulty eye, I don't know. Maybe it's because I have a faulty eye. At the end of the day, I enjoyed it way more than I expected. And although the fairies didn't really fit into my fey mold that I have, I still really liked them. I liked the concept of them. I liked that she took some typical traits of the fey and changed them up a bit. It was interesting. And in an enchantment of ravens, it didn't work. But in this one, it did work. And they were still evil. Well, the main antagonist, she is an evil evil woman. But at the end of the day, remember when she said this would be five moons? I take back every single bad word I have ever said about it because I really, really loved it and I cannot wait for the next one. It is pretty much a Beauty and the Beast retelling but with a really, really cool ending. Her ending was incredible. I was absolutely hooked. Very, very exciting. There's not a dull minute in this book and I thoroughly recommend it. But that is it for today's video, you guys. Please do remember to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button while you're down there and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye my lovelies.